Hi, this is Tony Stanislavski again. The purpose of this screencast is to demonstrate how I'm going to require you to take screenshots of your lab sim progress that are part of your weekly assignments posted in Blackboard. Um, again, I've gone through previously on how to activate and get onto lab sim and get your product key and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and log into uh, lab, the lab sim product. Now my LabSim interface is going to look a little bit different than your LabSim interface, but over here under my account, it should be very similar, if not the same, as what you see. What you won't have access to is the management portion of this console. Also, you'll notice that I have a, all of the LabSims and access to the LabSims as an instructor, uh, which you probably do not have uh, if this is your first class. You probably have just the Network Plus uh, class. So um, to open up your lab sim for the first time, what you do is you click on the lab sim and that's going to open up the product. And for the first week, you're going to be required to do section 00 with the introduction. Now, for this first week, I'm not going to go through a lot of the ins and outs of using the lab sim. I think it's important that you explore it. Test Out has some good tutorials, but I think it's important that, you know, for the first week, you go, you explore it, you start using it, you start seeing some of the features. Then the following week I will do another screencast on some of the features of the, uh, the lab sim and some of the ways that you can use it more effectively and efficiently uh, to master the content in ITNet 101. So I'm going to go back to the account home and, and take for granted that you went and did the uh, section 0.0, 0 within the lab sim. And then what you're going to do every week is, or not, well, yeah, every week, you're going to be a, in, in the assignment weekly. You're going to be assigned a certain portion of the lab sim to complete. And then uh, at the end of the week, you're going to be required to submit two screenshots to demonstrate your progress uh, in, in, in the lab sim product. Now, there's a couple reasons why I do this. One is uh, the textbook is optional in this course, and uh, just like if you were reading a textbook, I don't want you to sit down and try to read half the textbook uh, in in one weekend. What I want you to do is I wanted I would I would have preferred you to read uh, half a chapter here, half a chapter there, and really digest the information. And the same goes with the lab sim. The lab sim becomes a very effective tool of learning the material in the Network Plus Plus class uh, when you work on it weekly um, and by breaking down the weekly, week, weekly work into daily work, putting a half an hour or an hour in or a half hour or 15 minutes in. And what you're going to see is the lab sim environment is very conducive to doing this. It's also very conducive to repeating and uh, repeating what you mistakes you've made or repeating until you get right. And with, with repetition comes learning. And that's, that's the key, is the key is that this product is used as a learning tool. What I will provide in class is context and detail to things that I feel that the lab sim either doesn't provide as much of that is needed. And for example, topics like subnetting, I will go and give you additional materials and we will spend additional time and, and, and go into it in much more additional detail than the lab sim does because I think it is an important concept for you to understand. So the lab sim in combination with the other material that I will be make available each week uh, either to read, watch, or listen. And then listening to my podcast for the online students of my class content each Monday will provide context to the material that you're going over with over in the lab sim. Okay. So the, the, to, the two screenshots that you'll be taking are contained in your progress. And I mean, not your progress. This will be something you'll submit at the end under your personal reports. I apologize. And what you'll notice is you have three different sections here, score sheet, product usage, and product activations. The two, the two screenshots uh, that you're going to be taking are of your score sheet and your product usage. So under your score sheet, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that under report options, you click all four buttons, exams, labs, lessons, and videos. And then what you do is you need to select the proper lab sim that you're doing the report on. Now, for a lot of you, this is your first lab sim, so you're only going to have available the Network Plus lab sim to do that. 
So I have a score sheet highlighted. I've selected the pro appropriate product or class. And in this case, it's the IT Net 101 or the Network Plus N10004. And I go down here and I click on the lower right hand corner. I click build report. And what it's going to do is build a report of my progress in the lab sim. Now my lab sim has been reset for this semester. So I've gone through 00 with you or before you. I've made some mistakes purposely to see what, to show you what it kind of would look like by me doing it multiple times, when I took it, uh, how many times I took it, the different number of temps, how I watched it, the different number of temps that I made watching the video. What this really means is I may have watched the video not fully, or I may have watched the video twice, or I may have watched the video three times. Um, but you'll notice that I know how long the videos are. So if this were to say two minutes, I would have known you would just clicked on the video, watched a little bit of it, and then clicked out of it. So this is all information that I'm going to be conscious of and that fit within the rubric of grading your progress on your on your lab sim. So and I will also show you in, a, in at the end of the screencast that I have access to even more detailed reports that will allow me to uh, look in more detail of, of how you're using and your progress within the lab sim. So I'm in Windows 7 and I'm going to there's obviously many different uh, screen shot tools that are out there that you can use but uh, hopefully you're on a Windows 7 computer or you will be on a Windows 7 computer uh, when you get access to the MSDNA program and the, sni the sniping I call it the sniping tool I have no idea why but the snipping tool in Windows 7 is the most convenient one to use because it's built in to Windows 7 so I just gonna go in there and I'm gonna type in SNIP and it brings up the snipping tool and I go ahead and I click on that and that's going to bring up a little rectangular box and really by default I think it goes to rectangular snip and that's the one that we would use and what you're going to notice is, is that when I click on my screen now my screen is kind of like whited out uh, or has a fog over it and my my cursor now has turned into a crosshair and so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go ahead and I'm going to want to highlight the section that I was asked to complete and do and work on the week. So this is the screenshot that I am going to uh, submit in Blackboard, which I'll show you in a second. So there it is. I have my screenshot and it, it shows me. Now, a couple things. I, one, one thing I'll show you is probably what you can do, and I'm not going to save this one. I'll do it over, um, is kind of make this bigger so it shows... I mean, that actually will probably help me out a little bit so that I can see the full section um, of it. So I'm not sure why it always closes. I think it's kind of a one-shot deal. So again, I'm going to go ahead and highlight up here. I'm going through zero, zero. And I release my, my, my uh, mouse button. And there's my screenshot. And so then... What I can do is I can save it, and you'll notice that I can save it as a ping a file, a JPEG, a GIF. I really don't have any uh, any um, preference. Um, JPEG is probably the easiest, uh, and I'm going to call it uh, Week One Lab Sim One, because my next screenshot is going to be Week One Lab Sim Two. Then the following week will be week two lab sim one and week lab sim week two lab sim two and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to save that to my desktop. Click save. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to go back to my personal reports. And I'm going to go under product usage. And you'll notice here all I need to do is make sure that my correct lab sim is selected. I go back back down to the lower right hand corner and I click build report and this one's simple this is going to be the screenshot that you're going to be taking over and over again but it's going to show it's going to be able to allow me to, to monitor the time and effort that you're putting into the sim product and so again all I do here is again I keep it on rectangular I go ahead and do that tool opened up there it is it's saved I click on save I click on week one, lab, sim, two. I'm going to save that to my desktop. Click on save. There you go. 
and that's it. That's all I have to do in the, within the lab sim to take those screenshots. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm going to let you explore the, the lab sim product this week and work on it on your own and, and figure the, and I'll be doing another screencast uh, in the upcoming week showing you some more details of actually using the lab sim. But I think it's important for you to go ahead and explore this on your own at first um, and, you know, kind of get used to it and see what, see all the different bells and whistles that you're able to use. And then I'll reiterate. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory once it's installed. And again, everything will be listed in what's required of you week by week on the Blackboard site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the Blackboard site. Again, pretend I'm a student. And I'm going to go to weekly assess assignments. And my week one assignments are listed here. And I would click on this, and that would open up my week, my first week's assignments. And what you'll notice is here they are. And one of my deliverables is submission of the two screen, screenshots demonstrating you completed section 0.0, .0 in the lab sim. Well, I've just done that. I've taken this, completed the, the, the lab sim, taken the screenshots. And so what I do in Blackboard is I go ahead and I click on up here on the title, week one. And you'll notice here it says to submit your screenshots, please click on week one and link above, which I did. And then what I can do is I can just browse my computer. I'm on a virtual machine, so it takes a little bit longer for this to pop up. And it, it will pop up. <laughs> At least it did last time. There it go. Uh, my lack of patience. And I scroll down, and you'll notice that here are my lab sim screenshots. So I go ahead and click on it, click on open. All right, I want to browse and I want to add the other one. Go to my desktop, click on it. Okay, so there it is. If I wanted to add some comments to my submission, I could feel free to, and I click on submit. And then that uploads the screenshots into Blackboard servers. And then I can go in on Monday afternoon and Tuesdays, uh, check out the screenshots, check out the progress, leave you comments, and, uh, and grade you according to the rubric that's uh, on the syllabus. So that's really it. And you'll basically be doing that week in and week out throughout the semester according to the assignments of what's required of you in the lab sim. Now, one question that I'm probably going to get is, can I work ahead in the lab sim? Yes, you can work ahead in the lab sim. But again, my, my purpose here is, is that you spend time mastering the content that is assigned to you each week. And again, there will be auxiliary content, reading, watching, or listening, uh, besides my podcast for, my, for the online students. The in-person students will be listening to me in class. Um, but there will be other information that will be provided throughout the course of the semester that will fill in some of the holes and provide some of the details where I feel the lab sim uh, lacks, okay? And uh, textbooks lack, lab sims lack, everything lacks. The role of, the purpose of me as the instructor is to help provide context and fill in those lapses. So that's it, that's how you'll do it. You'll do it week in and week out. I think you're gonna enjoy the class. I know I do. I know I do teaching it every semester. So welcome aboard. Thank you.